Mike Evans signs his two-year deal over $50 million. I know gaudy numbers given his age. All or nothing, Mike Evans, is he getting a gold jacket, Kevin Hedgeco? Of course. Yes. Evans is unreal. And I, maybe it's because of his length. Just think about your last five fantasy drafts. And he how, seems stiffer, right? He's not fluid uh, like you're every in your brain. Year, you think it's about, like right? this is the year Mike Evans, you know, you got Mike Evans for four dollars last year. Like it's insane how undervalued he's been for five years. So now he's actually getting paid at value. That Lions playoff game where it was like, oh, nobody can cover this guy still. Like he's open. And when he's not open, he's open. Brady putting up those gaudy numbers when he was supposed to be in his decline phase. Like, wow, I guess, you know, Brady's Brady. But Baker Mayfield having the year he had, we have to start thinking about what Mike Evans is responsible for when Brady's doing it at oh, 45 yeah. and Mayfield's doing it really for the first time at that level in his career. It's like, that guy is unreal. Even back at A&M, there was a sentiment there like, it's not Johnny football. You should be watching NFL personnel guys. It's the guy he's throwing it to. Mike Evans is making Johnny football look good. Also, he's on the very short list. I always point out, like, it's not a pre it's not an essential position to winning a Super Bowl. High-end, number one wide receiver. It's fun and great in fantasy, and it will win you some games, but it doesn't equal Lombardi victories. Mike Evans is on the very short list with Cooper Cup and Tyreek Hill among the guys of the high-end, true number ones that actually did cross the goal line and win a Lombardi in this millennium, and that does not include Calvin Johnson, T.O., Randy Moss, and all the rest of them.